Hi, it's Liz Jamieson here and this is a very quick video to get you started if you want to install the AuthorShore plugin. I would ask that you sign up on the AuthorShore plugin site to get the tutorials, but if you've done that and you're still stuck, then maybe this will help. It is important to have a compliant and well-structured theme. If AuthorShore doesn't work with your theme, we've done some coding to try and work around the more problematic themes, but if you've got one that just won't work, it could be a sign that maybe it's time you changed your theme. If you're using something like Genesis, however, you're perfectly fine. Okay, the first thing to do is to identify the location of your Google Plus profile, the personal one, and optionally, your Google Plus page. To do that, you just go into Gmail or something like that and click on your Google Plus profile if you've set it up already. And then, if you like, click on the profile link here and grab this URL here. I'm actually going to put this into Notepad and so I don't get confused, I'll just label it with the word personal and just paste that URL there for future reference. Then if I come down here to the more icon and then click over to pages, we can see that I've got Google Plus pages here and as I've been working on my new site, West Country, I'm just going to switch to this page in order to find out what the Google Plus URL is for the page. I'm just going to click on Home and take the URL of the Google Plus page and make a note of it here. If you haven't got one of those it doesn't matter. Okay, I've made a note of those two things. The next thing to do is to go into the dashboard of my WordPress site and set the plugin up. There are two parts to setting up the plugin. The first is if you've got a Google Plus page set up, as I have, to set up that bit you go to Settings and then look for AuthorShore. You leave all the settings as they are and then where it says AuthorShore Homepage Settings rel equals Publisher, you go to the note of what you had and for the page you take this number here and you paste it in there. That's it. That forms the total URL then. So it's just the number from the page that you put in there. The next part of the plugin operates on the user profile for each author on the site. Now, West Country happens to have several authors, but your site may only have one. It doesn't matter. AuthorShore works for both types of site. So you would go to Users and then onto Your Profile. All you have to do is fill in your Google Plus profile URL here and in this case it wants the whole URL. Now if you remember I made a note of it, I've already got mine, but I made a note of it here, that's the personal one, and when I took a note of it, it also took slash posts. Now you might have slash about or slash something else here, we don't need that bit, we just need the URL up to the number. So that bit, you copy that bit from your personal profile and you put it in here, that's it. And then when you've done that, you come down to the bottom and click on update profile. Once you've done those two things, the next thing to do is to visit the rich snippets testing tool and test that one of your posts has worked out. So I'm just going to go to the West Country homepage and find one of the posts that I've written. There's one here. I'm going to take the URL and then I'm going to go to a new tab and type Rich Snippets Testing Tool and then visit that page and put the URL of the post that I've written in there and then click on Preview. What we're looking for is a face to show up here and also for these words, Verified Authorship Markup is Verified for this page. If that appears, then you've done it correctly. If it doesn't, and it comes out in red or has some other message, then you haven't done it correctly. But if you've got this, then everything's fine, and all you have to do is keep writing, keep doing things of sufficient quality, make sure that what you write gets g and Facebooked and tweeted and everything else, and as soon as you've got enough traction, socially and within the index, your face should start to show up. 
While we're here, if you've taken the trouble to put your Google Plus page into AuthorShore as well, we should also, whilst on the Rich Snippets testing tool, test our home page. That's because the Google Plus page is only designed to be linked to important pages on your site, like your home page. I think that Google still see each post as being authored by people, but the home page is kind of being owned by the brand. I don't know that for sure, but that's the way it looks. If I click on preview, because I have set my page up in AuthorShore, what happens is here is my West Country logo as opposed to my face that's showing up here. And slightly further down, we also have the verified publisher markup is verified for this page. So that's worked out because I've set that up in AuthorShore and also if you go back to your page you can also link the website to your Google Plus page on the About tab. You click on Link Website and fill it in. It will say make sure you've put this code in but if you've used AuthorShore then you've already put that code in. You can then test the website by clicking this button. It says here the test is successful, but we need to do some additional testing. Now, I think they're incredibly nervous about spammers and this kind of thing. So when they've done their additional testing, they will put a little check icon next to your website. But even so, if you've done it correctly, it would have verified in the Rich Snippets testing tool. There's a further thing you can do, which I think they're trying to give you some hoops to jump through to make it more difficult. I'm not sure at the moment. But if you look at this page, you'll see that you can do a Google Plus page verification request. And you have to fill in your name, title, email address, all sorts of things about your organisation, making it again a little bit harder for people who want to be a bit too anonymous, I suppose. Um, and fill in all sorts of things, including phone numbers, and then you can submit that. Now, I've done that for my page, and that is, I guess, a further mm -hmm. test that you're for real. All you can do is do all of those things, make sure everything verifies on the Rich Snippets testing tool, and then you're set. And maybe at some point, your logo for your page will show up in the SERPs as well, but I suspect it will only show up against the home page listing or perhaps category pages. Um, it's unclear to me anyway whether your face will ever be removed from the SERPs and replaced by an icon. I don't know. If you've got a non-standard site, a non-standard theme, we have gone some ways to code around some of the issues presented by those themes but we haven't been able to do that for all of them. Best thing to do in that case is sign up to the tutorials and you'll find some help in there on that. If that fails then please contact me.